hello everyone today in this video i am going to show you how to install a custom theme using a cpanel i have my website actually here and apparently i have only uh, about three themes but i have my theme which i bought from a newspaper and I, I actually want to make sure it is in my website i wouldn't like to install through the wordpress uh, dashboard i need to use the cpanel so this is what you're gonna do uh, you're going to log into your cpanel i'm using delete0.com as my web host this is one of the very best uh, web hosting out there with the cheapest prices ever because if you can see they they have a plan of 80 dollars for a year and also if you come to check more hosting services there's also the one with limited storage you'll be able to see they have up to three dollars for all the 12 months that you're going to be using uh we and that comes with uh 5 gb bandwidth is 1 gb ram you have two email accounts and remember there is uh, a c panel and a free ssl so you can imagine you only have pay three dollars and you're able to use all that so that's why this is also one of the very best in case you want to use this please check the link on the description are you be able to uh, do this want to log on to my client area yes now this is my client area and if you can see this this is how the dashboard what Auckland area of this uh, web hosting looks like it shows you so many things around here and uh, my interest is going to the cpanel depends on the web hosting where you go cpanel other websites you can go to maybe you put uh, your website dash cpanel but for this case i just have to go to the client area then i go to access my cpanel now if you can see here um this is where my cpanel is and uh, now our interest is to do what to install our sim so now you have to go to the file manager whatever you want to do in your website or whatever you want to upload on your website it's always under the file manager so under the file manager you'll be able to see the home directory of your domain if you have very many websites uh, you select the particular one you have that you want to install the theme or a plugin whatever so now for this case i have bentex here as my website now i want to install a theme go to public html under public html go to wp content under wp content go to theme yes as you can see these are the three themes i have here even if i come to my website you can see i have 2023 short news and i have just read and even when you come to the c panel you see this just read short short news and 2020 so now i want to add in here a newspaper which i actually have it around here so now i'm going to minimize this then you come to this area which says upload so from this you do two ways one you can say select file then it directs you to where the theme is the other one you can minimize open your theme carry it and bring it to this and you drag you leave it there you see it also works but also you can just select file go to where your directory is then i have mine in themes i click on this this is theme newspaper then i, I click ok so it's going to load it Going to replace because i had already loaded it i'm going to replace the other one and it comes in so once it turns to green 100 percent depends on your hosting company but mine is already showing so after this i just go ahead and say go back to public themes now it's already loaded here so the next thing you're going to do now is apparently it is zipped remember you cannot be able to upload when it is just an open file make sure it is actually in a zip format don't try to upload for example you extract it here then you try to to upload it you will not be able to upload it so you make sure it is zipped before you do what you upload so now my theme is here it's already uploaded but it is in a zip format it should also turn to yellow like this so what you're going to do you're going to click then you say extract so it is going to show you where you want to extract it this one you don't need to change it it's automatic in a public html wp content and the themes you're going to extract it here so this is what it has extracted it shows you everything that has come in then you close it so now you can see it doesn't show but what you need to do is reload this page and you just there you can see now i have newspaper. paper if i come back to my website here and i refresh this area it should be able to appear around here as you can see this is now newspaper all i need to do is just to activate so thank you very much for watching in the next tutorial i'll be showing you how to install a plugin using cpanel so if in case you like this video please uh, sh like it or you can also share to your friends and please subscribe so that you don't miss anything that i'll be uploading in the next coming tutorials bye